Hey there my friends, how are you? So I'm starting to build up the uh, desert base here, so the, the base for the desert. And I've only used um, resin and pigments. So I've made up, I call it goo. So I've got dark earth goo, light earth goo, desert yellow goo, that's really nice. That's the stuff I put on the top. Uh, we've got dark dust goo, that was really handy. We've got earth goo. So the first thing I did after I, you know, I used the clay to um, build the, the base there. So to get that earth feel. Now I use the air dryer clay. Uh, I like to use the air dryer clay because it cracks and, and um, dries and sets like real earth. Because it is real earth. So this is just the foundational colours. So I think I'm done with the, the goo, or the resin, as they say. So what I did is I basically started dark. That was the first thing I put down. And then I went uh, to just normal earth goo. Then I put some light earth goo on. Then I did dark dust. And then desert yellow. So. It was just a build up of all the colours. I put a little bit of rust in as well. That's just um, uh, rust goo. So I, I've, I've, but that's an old one I've got. Not much, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. Adding a little bit of red into the soils. And you can see it, it's not heaps varied, but it's not just the one colour. It's not just. And dirt never is. And so what I'm sort of thinking of going with there is, so the tank would have torn up there. So it's not an actual road, they're just out in the desert, but the tank has torn up that part there. So that's going to be a different colour, is my thinking. And I'm really proud of my track marks. I like them. I should have done them a bit deeper, I suppose. But um, it's my first attempt at this kind of scene, a desert scene, so I'm sure to make mistakes that I'll learn from and, and remedy next time. Ah, oh, to get that really deep texture as well, what I did is, um, so from the offcuts, I kept all the offcuts from the plastic from building this. So they're just all bits of offcut. That I kept and then um, I got the little bits of off cut out and I just diced them up into tiny little bits like that and then you can mix that in with your goo or you can just put it straight on I just put it straight on so I sprinkled it all on with uh, PVA not in the that area because that's been flattened out by the tank um, but yeah in all those areas I just put it there and then just covered it with the goo. So that's how I got that texture, just with little bits of plastic. All right, guys, I'm just gonna have some um, lunch. I'm gonna have some fish and chips. And Elsie won't go outside. She's being really lazy today, aren't you, Elsie? Yes, I'm being lazy. I love being lazy. Uh, the figures are coming along well. Look at this guy. I, I spent all this time building this guy up. He's um, got to build the machine gunner to go with him. But my lord, this one was... It took me all day nearly to build him. A lot of stuff going on there. I had to um, use mini art accessories. I uh, used the mini art gun, mini art helmet, and the mini art shovel thingy, spade. I added uh, straps to the uh, spare barrel, so that's an actual spare barrel strap, and um, I added a sling, so this is a fabric sling to his rifle. You can, in this photo etch fret you've got two kinds for the, uh, the main Mauser guns, you can either have the, the leather strap or the uh, what is it? Fabric sling. The bullets come up pretty good, so they're just dangling down. I couldn't fit a second 
ammunition thing into his hand, so I don't know what I'm going to do there. But yeah, really cool um, little figure. The helmet didn't look right, it came in the kit. Like, a lot of these um, cheap things you get, you, you'll get the guns are damaged and, you know, a lot of the small parts will be damaged. You get what you pay for. Like, like you pay, like, $3 for one of these from China. You know, it's very cheap compared to what you pay for them, you know, to buy them legitimately. But I'm sure the legitimate ones don't have broken guns and stuff like that. And there's this weird little thing. See where his bum is? I'm going to have to get that out because it's bothering me. I don't even know what it is. It looks like a defect. Like it's like a, like a bowl where his bum is. I'll cut that out. Yeah, cool. Really cool. Uh, and I changed Rommel. Uh, the uniform just wasn't working out, so I just changed him. I, I noticed that um, he was getting around a lot in black uniforms in, in Africa, so I just went with that. Just wasn't working out. Now it's working a lot better. So Rummel start to so I'm actually now happy with him. I, I just couldn't get happy with him. So those colours are much better. So I'll start to um, work around those base colours I've got there. And then we can get that finished and um, yeah, get the Africa Core scene finished. We're getting there. I've, I've just got some mojo for the Africa Core scene at the moment, so go with your mojo. Oh, and the pants are looking amazing. I put on the, the decals. I've still got these in my hand. So what I'm doing now is I was just getting these ready. Getting these ready. And so I put the decals on. Decals are horrible bugging. I tell you that now. Uh, I won't ever use them again. I just wanted to try and see what they were like. But they, they're bad. <laughs> they're really bad. They don't set properly. They don't want to set properly. You can get them to set properly, but they don't want to. See, it's set. I've just covered it. Uh, I really had to heavily go with a gloss seal to seal it in, and then I just came up with some flat clear to bring it back again. But I think I've used a little bit too much flat clear, so I just need another dusting of gloss, I think. And so I've started to put some of the side skirts on. I've just got to put the rear one on and I'll leave that middle one there missing. I've damaged them up a bit so that's not, you know, that's me damaging them, making them all bent and stuff, which is a good thing about metal parts is you can actually make them bent like that, which you can't do with plastic. And we'll put the last one on the back and then um, we'll do the other side. And we'll have maybe two missing from that side. You know, I did all that work in there to get the and you can't even see it because it's all dark but yeah it's um at least i know it's there <laughs> that's the main thing <laughs> all right fellas thanks for watching my show i love making the show i love modeling art's very important to me have you noticed recently that um no good music no good movies nothing um the first uh, sign of a totalitarian regime is art dries up and I haven't seen any art coming out of America that's of any note um, or Australia or anything, England. So I'm going to focus on doing art. Anyway, that's it. Art means freedom, okay? So get into it. I'll speak to you again soon.